How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today we're going to be going over a pretty sweet little campaign easter egg called Shoot for the Stars. Now before we get started with it I would like to credit my good buddy Not Point for Alive. He is the founder and solver of this easter egg you could say. He actually came to me with this. Uh, so you guys should go check him out if you do enjoy GTA 5 mystery type videos. Uh, and easter eggs and things of that nature. He does a lot of that stuff so go ahead and check his channel out. I will link it down below. Uh, also, if you are new around here and do enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe as we are less than 1,000 subscribers off of 50,000. So thank you guys so much for the support and let's get started with the video. So the first little step in this Easter egg or the first hint towards it appears on the black light version of the GTA 5 map and towards the observatory, uh, right next to that actually on this black light version of the map, there's a little note that says shoot for the stars and it leads us to wonder what does shoot for the stars mean? Does this have something to do with the the jetpack mystery, the Mount Chilia mystery, or like the, the UFOs around the map? What does it have to do with? It's actually something really simple yet uh, cool at the same time. So what you want to do, and you want to do this in single player uh, as weapons are around the map and things like that can't spawn in in GTA Online. So, I uh, do this in single player, it doesn't matter who you're playing as, but go over to the observatory and go where I do towards the first little telescope. You'll see a sniper rifle on the ground, and one more thing, you might want to just try this at nighttime as uh, in the daytime you can't see any of the lights on the building. So, go over to this first telescope, pick up this sniper rifle, look through the scope, towards a building where you should see a sign that says Penrith and the building is or the sign is a, a blue sign it looks like an eyeball with five stars around it and uh, you can shoot at the stars and the eyeball and pretend that it's animated and with this sniper rifle uh, the stars are falling to the ground and things like that so if you head over to the actual building in downtown Los Santos you will actually see on the right side of the building uh, an eyeball and five stars around it, basically just halfway in the ground like they fell from the sky and were just uh, kind of dug in and they just crashed in into this little pavemented area. And I don't even think pavemented is a word, but uh, this is the shoot for the stars easter egg basically. Uh, you, it's, you can pretend that when you were up at the, observa uh, the observatory and you shot these stars with this sniper rifle that they fell and they crashed into the ground on the side of the building. Now, one more cool little thing is Penrus is actually, I know it sounds like penis, it, Penrus is actually a sniper, the word sniper just rearranged. So if you rearrange the word Penrus, you can spell out the word sniper. So that's another cool a little Easter egg that was thrown in with this, uh, the Shoot for the Stars Easter egg. And that is really just about it. If you guys did enjoy this cool little easter egg be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here as we are on the road to 50,000 now with all that said I believe that is just about it you guys all take it easy have a safe one and I will talk to you later bye